don't remember where it was. Uh, it's inside the inside of the stadium. Yes. There okay, I yeah. remember. So yeah, he's described as the prime prime evil man, right? Mm -hmm. And he's the father of the abyss, and the dude dude is bursting at the seams with humanity, right? And he's living in the abyss. As you would. So he's either the first human being or he's the furtive pygmy and he's the dark soul. You sure about that? It's what well, I don't <laughs> think anybody is because I remember talking to Plague and he's like, we thought that the DLC was going to clean it up and it doesn't. Okay. You think it's a possibility? Well, in two, it straight up says after you defeated him and the Dark Soul got split, it became all those queens. Like Nashandra and the Ice Queen and all them. You you kicked his ass so hard that he split into multiple beings. I'll take that as a distinct possibility. Hey, bro. Mm. A visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. That old friend he was. You're not a giant. Thanks oh, he's me, a giant. But he left this world with honor and time. This is the past. And here I am. Retired yeah. and blind. So little help to me, I'm afraid. I when I when I I mean obviously he's giant. I guess I didn't think he was the same race yeah. as the giants. No, he totally is. But perhaps he is. Yeah. I wish I could anyway, whatever. I don't wanna Dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. <laughs> Exhilaration, pride, hatred, rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. At our twilight, old thoughts return in great waves of nostalgia. Mm, right before the end. Oh, he's got plenty to say. There's very little to be said. <laughs> That's what good is a dog with no hairs to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. So back then, giants were just bros. Oh, yeah. Hanging out. Fighting knights. Fighting with the knights. Well, he's the fourth side one. By side. You've now met all of Gwen's knights. Oh, is that who he is? That's Hawkeye Goff. That's Goff. <laughs> or a hawk. What good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Because giants I have I have taken such a weird roundabout path. Oh, my, it's super weird. In my brain. So I'm gonna discount DS2 for a second because that's, that's a, that I'm I'm willing to believe that that's an entirely different race, race. and kind of giant. Yeah, whole face giants, tree tree giants, are a whole thing that you run into and you're like, these are random monsters. It's like, no wait, they were slaves. No way, they were sentient and they had a king. Right now, these guys, everyone I've run into has been a slave. Yep, pulling on a chain mm -hmm. and just grunting mindlessly. Or an illusory ghost. But he opens the door. No, I'm I'm talking about the one in uh, I'm talking about the the guards in fucking Anne Orlando are illusory, are not real, right? And then there's the blacksmith. Uh, Plague said the the knights are real, apparently. So then why do they disappear? When only the illusion apparently, is shattered? like he said something like only the only one that disappears is the one with the archer in the in the hallway. The rest are, are something, the rest are still ah, there. Maybe. That's, that's so, possible, yeah. in which case, they are actually real and they're like actually part of that god race. But the giants, we have, we see the blacksmith giant who's just a mindless slave, really. Not he, really. He doesn't have full faculties. Yeah, he's not really, he's not so much a slave as he is just like a, almost like if you have a peasant boy that yeah. sits in the corner and does your weapons for you. Yeah. And then the other giants are like chained up to the fucking wall and don't appear to be able to speak. So, this is weird that this guy is like. Not only like a normal person, but honored amongst them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess you don't have much to say then. <laughs> what do you have to? And you said he had so much. Uh, to he's say. supposed to say uh, something. Uh, By the way, he's got that shit. Hello. Thank you. All right. All right. Um, and those are dirt cheap. Those are five. Oh, I'm, I'm buying all that shit. Yeah. Uh, he sells green. He sells 
shards, yep. And the uh, go great arrow. Oh, great arrow. Uh, great arrow by use by... Uh, One of Lord Gwyn's four knights. Requires the great bow. Yeah. Personally crafts each stone tip. That's what he's doing right now. Mm -hmm. Wraps the shafts lightly. Actually, no, he's not. Tightly with tree bark. I don't believe he's making uh, the tips of arrows. He's I'm carving stones! Yes, he is. You cool guy. He's the guy who made those fucking stones. Farewell, human. Lead thy mind. Oh, you can check out his... <laughs> 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 oh, cool. What did he say? Live thy life? I'll find out. Alright, let's pop one of these. Cheap cheeps. Very cheap. Tomorrow, the black dragon ah, there. That's what I was hmm. Is he, Is that black dragon causing you probs? Yes. Yes. I thought as much. In fact, I expected that to be the boss. Old Okay. Ferocious dragon indeed. Even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. Yes. <laughs> good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch, and see my God, <laughs> Dragon. See, he says his, his own name. That's where the pronunciation comes from. So again, remember... The city of the gods doesn't want to fuck with this dragon. Is blind. What he, is what he just said. Oh, yeah. So he says he's blind. Apparently, I, I heard somewhere that... It's some kind of horrible trick, and that, like, his helmet actually obscures his vision, and he's been tricked into thinking he's blind. <sighs> but I don't have the confirmation Is he about to Rhinox this shit? Is he about to pull a fucking Rhinox right now? That's a big bow and arrow! <laughs> That's a big bow! <laughs> <laughs> Kaboosh, motherfucker! You got got. You got gold. So, <laughs> wow. Yes. Wow. Without a dude, didn't even think loose. about it. He's like, all right. Back will be grounded for a good spell. The rest is in. Holy hand. shit! I await good tidings. So, Wolves, uh, you have now uh, unlocked, unlocked the next the, boss. Uh, the ability to actually My fight Calamite. Highest calling. So the fun fact is that if your if your timing and stamina and defense is strong enough, when you go down there, when he comes at you, you can hit him with an arrow and also knock him down. Oh, you. but it's way easier to just ask off to do it. Like he just got finished saying. The city of the gods. No one's gonna fuck with Calme. And they have the sickest archers I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. To this point. Oh, yeah. And he goes, oh, you want a piece of that? No, I got this. Wow. And back to my hello, very goods. Because that's a use of his time. That's what I do. Oh. Hello there. That's what he wants to spend his time what? doing. <laughs> making oh, fucking Burgorg stones. Dragon. Oh, man. Sky, I don't know. Is it his voice? It will not be put down easily. Going into the stones? Yes. Throw it throw a stone down. Perch perch. Farewell, human. I await good tidings. Is it actually him? Very good. That's awesome! He's the guy! He's the guy! And the only thing of him that ever remained tens of thousands what? of years into the future are these goofy rocks that he made. Which he loves making. He, it, like... He can't get enough! He made very many. <laughs> right? He can't get enough! He fucking loves it. 
I love making these fucking tanks. Yeah, I'll buy a couple of these. It's a lot of fucking fun to make these goddamn tanks. What a fucking champ. Hey, if you want to be really ballsy, wolves, you can, uh, next time you run into goddamn, uh, Manus, mm -hmm. you can go in in human form, mm -hmm. and there's a summon sign in the boss arena. Seriously? Yes. That's interesting. It's a summon sign in the boss arena on on the floor, apparently in the lightly colored part near the pillars. Is it for a cool guy? No. Okay. It's for a cool girl. Okay. Uh, how do you even shoot one of these arrows? I don't fucking remember. All right. Go look at the bow. Farewell, human. I wait good tidings. Are you implying? I think that I can call in. I. I think after you fuck Calamite up, he's like, I don't need this anymore, and he'll give it to you. Because right now, I, don't, I doubt I could even... Okay. I doubt I can even, like, shoot those arrows by by. Oh, him. hell no. So. Wow. You're awesome. The knights are awesome. The knights are all fucking Willie, cool. you're doing, like, a fucking cosplay reunion here. This is super cool. These guys are great. So I'm very confused, and I'm sure somebody has. And, 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 and hold on, hold on. And she's super cool with you doing the service of putting Artorius out of his misery. Yeah, they're like, oh, he got all fucking crazed out. Thanks for helping him. I appreciate you doing that. Kieran's happy about it. Sif's happy about it. Alvina's happy about it. Goff is happy about it. At at some level, Gwyn is happy about it, right? And you're saying that if I got balls. Oh, she's gone. Oh, yeah, she's gone. If I've got balls, I can call her in? No, not her. Oh. Different cool girl. Oh, okay. Damn. Oh, her. The coolest, in fact. Murder. Yeah, the, the coolest girl? Yes. That's a big claim. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty big fucking claim. All right. All right. Um, I guess I only need single. That's correct. Running a little low. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's after you beat him, he gives you the fucking great bow. Which seems fucking stupid. But, Is uh, Calamite optional? Yes. I see. So, well, all of this is optional. Well, yeah, but I mean, like... No, Calamite's gonna sit down in that pit. Yeah, he's <laughs> gonna chill. Um, okay. and he's a... Fuck! He is a fuck! Uh, okay, so right now it's- it's elevator down it's, to- It's- it's- through the- it's through the goddamn yes, shit. Yes, 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 And then- Oh, straight. and you didn't, uh, actually human up. Oh, hey, bro. Hey, you getting human? Kinda. I'll get human too. Oh, you're wearing that armor! Yeah, it's wow. a popular set. Wow, how about that? You wanna reverse that holo? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, there's no real fast way down to Manus. Mm. Right? That's- that's the shit part. Um, on the plus side, humanities move very, very slowly. Mm -hmm. So you can mostly ignore them. Mm -hmm. Are you going for the black flame? Let's find out. Let's find out. At the very least. Ooh, that's pretty fast. Yeah, that's pretty good. I hope it's strong. All right. I, I'm a little rusty, so this first trip down, we'll have to re-navigate our run. I'm gonna fall. But, uh, when you decide to throw down against Manus, many cuts will occur, because this is quite a long trip to him, actually. Yes. So we'll leave one in. Yeah, let's leave... For the, for let's the purpose leave, of learning. Let's leave a couple in. I like to leave it in. You know, you're just trying to be creepy, but... I think everybody does. I'm pretty good <laughs> at being... I don't think anyone's gonna disagree with I'm that. I'm pretty good In fact, this. I would say if you're not, you're doing it wrong. That's what I say. You're getting creepy today. like to pull it out. Okay, well... Where you want it? Before... On top of the TV? Okay. Wow! Oh, you're beating me at my own game. Damn. Alright, so the prism stones are where you- okay. Yeah, follow them prism stones. I forgot the game literally gives you a fucking, like, annotated path. 
There is a caster, however. Yeah, but you drop onto him. No, the other way. Up here? Yeah, I believe so, anyway. Because you follow the little... The prism stones, right? Mm -hmm. And then you drop onto the caster. He should be at your fucking feet. Oh, or he's right there. Okay, and then it's down that little path. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, it's follow the stones. Follow the stones. Follow... Art. For a follow Arturo. Ah! Arturo Sanchez of the <laughs> Abyss! Ah! CPM! Yay, Sifatov! <laughs> okay, soul sign is in the center of the room on the lighter gray stone within the circle of pillars. So you can actually see Manus down there. Like, down that hole. Did I see him? Was he there you can for a actually second? see your soul sign and you can see his face. Because you're getting pulled downwards. Yeah. It happens every time. Yeah. It happens every time because he exists in a bottom floor. Okay. I'll keep my eyes out for that soul sign. Yeah, I don't see it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. You fight the boss, I'll keep my eyes out. Yep. Three. He's like a big monkey version of Artorius. Oof. But hey, that's fine. So that combo... That... Is the is the killer? Oh yeah. Woof. Nice. I really wish I could see the goddamn soul sign. Mm. There it is, over there. On the right or the left? The right. See it to your left? See that? Right there. Okay. Fuck. Lock on. Oh! 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 <laughs> what? Yo! Yo, let's get it! <laughs> let's fucking get it! So for the for Sif, this is round two! Holy shit. Okay. Doing flips and dog shit, man! This is the cannon battle! Let's do it! Oh, you're wrecking my shit. Yeah, you cannot block that. Okay. It's too strong. Yeah, nice. Sif. Let's go, Poppy. It's fucking dope. And Sif's got the sword. So that's we might want to use the fucking yes. thing when he's doing that. Yeah, shit. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Okay. He's okay. like a giant version of those casters. Yeah. Oh, you motherfucker! So he has really long startups on those. So when he does it, you can just mash it. And be safe. You're giving me time. So notice how much health Sif has? Yes. She has a shit ton of health. Oh, you're not locked on. Yeah, there it is. That's wow, a, man. That's a fucking flicker jab, man! Yeah, it is. It is. There it is. More, more, more. There you go. You see how it comes from all directions? I did. That was a new pattern. Dude, that is impossible to avoid. Like, you, like if you do not have that thing, you're done. 
fuck. I had to switch to it quickly. Okay. So here's how it works. Keep that on your tab. And switch to Estus. Only switch when you heal. Yeah, switch to Estus. Got it. Okay. That fight is awesome. Oh. It's awesome. I don't know if this should be on camera or not. Yeah, what, what? But what? I'm so mad. Why? At everybody who fucking says it's just a cutscene. <laughs> I'm so mad. <sighs> Fuck it, keep this in. Yes. If you're telling me that it's just a cutscene, who cares? Sif, whatever. Well, hold it's on. It's different if you get to go fight with her. No, 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 no. No, Wooly. You, no matter what you do in the present, you always get to do this in the past. Yes. But there is a cutscene change. I know. If, if you do this first. I know. And it's the context. But clearly, but the, the idea that it's just like, why are you wasting your time doing this path, all that stuff, whatever, who cares? Do the, do the, do the calf thing and, uh, like that whole discussion. <laughs> no one ever brought up the fact that you're going to fight with Sif. Which makes your eventual boss fight with Sif. So much cooler! Much cooler. That's so much more interesting, it, and I'm it, really happy so because, that I'm doing this now. Because the, 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 it's the difference between the context of do you know about the Dark Lord, yes or no. And right? it's not gameplay changing, it's just, just like, uh, plot, but god damn, that's fucking fantastic! Yes, it's pretty good. So, a lot of people beat Sif on their way through the game, right? And then they did this, and then they went, oh man, that's crazy. And then someone, a friend, whatever, told them, hey, you know, if you, uh, if you do the DLC before you fight Sif, there's a change. And everybody replayed the game <laughs> to see what would change. And overall, it's a minor change, right? You know what? But the context. Let me, let me, is let me. Yeah, let me like to 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 rephrase. Yeah, it is just a cutscene. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. People have seemed to be implying, oh, she remembers you or something. Like people were in the argument were trivializing, I guess, whatever it's gonna yeah, be. Yeah. And I, and and that's fine. But it matters more <laughs> in terms of just like knowing the plot. I care a bit more now. Yes. That's really cool. In fact, I'm pissed I forgot to turn human. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. I'll do it next time. Do it next time. There will be a next time. Ah, uh, you can skip this safely. There may not be a next time. You did pretty well there. The main thing is you gotta learn how to get around his, uh, five hit. And yeah, lots of ass hugging. Lots of ball slouching. Any, any enemy that has a big, big, long move set is weak from close by. Like so. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no difference to beating him with or without Sif in the fight, by the okay. way. Okay. Sif just helps out a lot. I love, I love having him, though. I, her. Yeah. I, I, I want her. Oh, yeah, totally, dude. I want her. Like, I remember uh, once we got a podcast question about, like, best dogs, right? And for me, it's a tie between Missile and Sif. And those are both from games that, at the time, you had not played. And you were like, oh, I'll have to take your word for it. All I know is that Sif looks cool. Right? Right. Sif is a hero! Oh, your tail. Sif is a hero in your own game! Oh, but then he keeps going. He's a fuck. Oh, boo, <sighs> boo you. Hey, we got our girl Sif back, and I'm back from a piss break, and I have something to say. Willie, are you mentally cognizant enough of the fight that uh, I can talk to you right now? Yes. Okay. So I was thinking while I was holding my dick in my hand over there. I was thinking, this dude looks awesome. Yes. And he is the last monster they ever designed.
for Dark Souls 1, right? Yes. Then the team that was responsible for Dark Souls 1 immediately started to work on Bloodborne, yes? Yes. And the first boss you fight in Bloodborne is the Cleric Beast. Yes. Who looks... A lot like this. Very similar. And has the same, like, you have a hard time tracking movement because of the insane amount of... Even down to the big hand? The, the big hand and the yeah. the, the head thing. Yeah, 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 look, yeah. Look at that fucking move. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think, well, okay, well, Orphan of Kos is the last one. And then he's got a creepy thing on his arm, right? And then the first boss of DS3 gets a big creepy thing on his arm. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, like, okay, does this mean the final boss of the Dark Souls 3 DLC is going to look like the first boss of the next <laughs> It shows you where their head is at in yeah. terms of design. Well, I, what it actually makes me think of is, like, does this mean that they're actually very serious about their sci-fi ambition and that not robots as the enemies, but aliens? You can do anything. Because that gives you the opportunity to do all sorts of tech and whatever, and then the design can be literally anything. You can be, it, it can be nonsensical. It can be organic, yeah. It doesn't have to even have a discernible mass or shape. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fucked up. It's like directly behind where you start. Like roll backwards twice kind of thing. It's behind me now? It's du directly to your right. See, it's right in front of you right now. That's it. Yeah, you're pretty much standing on it. Uh, and we're back to the Wollington and Sif show. Dogs are your friend in video games. It's crazy how nearly always beneficial they are. That didn't even fucking it, it, flinch you. It didn't. You're learning that range. You're good at this. Man, when he attacks Sif, that's just free. Oh, that's not free. Wow. God damn. I'm you know what's going to happen now? Yes. We're going to get a montage and or a slow fade into victory. Yep. Bye for now, people. <laughs> Dramatic to the end. <laughs> uh, I gotta run in and stab. So how do you like the part where you gain a completely new in form of mechanic just for this boss? Okay, we're talking straight up aerial raves. Yeah, he combos you and juggles you straight up into the air. With scaling, as you mentioned. Yeah, so that was off camera that I mentioned that, but uh, in some of all these attempts, I noticed it's like, okay, wait a second. When he hits with just the last big hit, it does like, I don't know, 60% of your life. When he hits with the whole combo, it does 
about 60% of your life. When he only yeah. catches you halfway through, it does about... Like, it always scales to about the same amount. Yeah, so uh, what ended up happening there is I plus five to the black shield. Uh, plus uh, four. Plus four, the, the, yeah, the, the, black, the shield. And use that increased stability. To walk around him. And uh, this fight in particular was different because of how spammy he was on his magic. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I, I hope... I wrote down here to put that in there. He's so fucking spam happy. It's nuts. Um, but that's but then and then that's the, that's the mechanic I'm describing. Like this is the only boss where you get like shit tons of projectiles thrown at you, and you have a method, a, a, a built-in method to just go no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and and you, you, you but whatever you get to like uh, uh like Street Fighter Five it. Like parry or or Italy or yeah. whatever, just rah. And you have these moments where you you do the burst, and either this massive circle just bounces off you, or this rain of black death is like literally like rubbing up against the wall of your bubble. And learning how to see the projectiles and then continue watching his his pattern. Yeah, because fucking. There's cool. a couple times where he would, while you were in the bubble and the the, the blackness was covering, he would be winding up for yeah. something as you came out. And I realized you gotta okay, no, you gotta you gotta just pop it with confidence and then keep your eyes like on he's him. Got stuff. It's a whole new mechanic. Not to mention cross ups. He crosses you up. And not just like cross ups where they come down facing you the other way. Like straight fighting game cross cross ups. Stays facing you. But drops down behind you, behind your block. Yeah, you know? yeah. He will land in front of you, but his weapon slash attack will mm -hmm. land behind you around mm -hmm. your ball. It's nuts. Wow. <laughs>